Everyone agrees that killing is wrong, but many people think that it is okay to kill someone if they have committed a crime such as murder, so effectively they are killing someone because they killed someone else. Isn't this very childish? How can we expect to say that killing is wrong if the state is authorising its own murders? Of course, it's not that simple. Many people feel that the death penalty acts as a deterrent. So, if you execute a murder, it will make other people less likely to commit murder themselves. But, is this the case? Well, capital punishment doesn't seem to be any more of a deterrent than prison. For example, in America, when states have introduced the death penalty, as often as not, the murder rate went up. And when a state abolished the death penalty, as often as not, the murder rate fell. Between 1952 and 1967, California executed someone around every two months. In this time, murder rates increased 10% annually. But between 1967 and 1991, there were no executions, and in this time, the murder rate increased by only 4.8%. Now, this might just be anecdotal evidence, but a survey of experts from the American Society of Criminology, the Law and Society Association, and the Academy of Criminal Justice Sciences showed the overwhelming majority believed the death penalty was not a proven deterrent to murder. In many cases, the argument that the death penalty deters people from committing murder also doesn't make sense. In cases where the murderer thinks they won't get caught, then any form of punishment isn't going to be a deterrent, because whatever it is, they think it won't affect them. Murderers who kill without considering the consequences also wouldn't be deterred. Some murders are committed in a frenzy of panic and hatred, in a blind fury without thinking at all. In cases like these, the death penalty is hardly likely to put them off. So the argument that capital punishment is a deterrent doesn't seem to be a very good argument at all. Some people believe that the death penalty means that a criminal could not strike again. But there's no reason to believe that a prison sentence wouldn't have the same effect. In many cases, a criminal might reform. And in this situation, society loses a criminal and gains a well-meaning good citizen. But obviously, some people may never reform, and will always be a danger to society. But even in this case, prison could still work. If a criminal is locked up for life, they still can't reoffend. Even in the best judicial systems in the world, mistakes will still be made. In the United Kingdom, there have been cases of innocent people being convicted of murder. The mistake was then discovered, and these people have now been set free. If the United Kingdom had the death penalty, these innocent people would have died. In the US, since 1973, 102 people have been released from death row after it was found later that they were innocent. Some came very close to execution after spending many years on death row. This suggests that in all probability, a number of people in the US have been executed when they were innocent. We can conclude from this that even if the judicial system was excellent, if a country has the death penalty, innocent people will die. Is this a price we should pay? Is it worth the deaths of innocent people for a system that doesn't seem to deter crime and is no more effective at stopping reoffending than prison? Help Amnesty International end the death penalty.